Um, we're here with uh, Willie Rennie, MSP, leader of the Scottish Liberal Democrats. Um, Willie, we're here today to talk a wee bit about Challenge Poverty Week. What we were trying to do with Challenge Poverty Week was raise awareness about the issue of poverty in Scotland to show what's been done to tackle it and particularly what communities themselves are doing to address poverty day in, day out and also to say well, what else do we need to do in the future. I mean, it's, it's critically important that you know, all parts of society just understand that it's their job, not anybody else's, alone. It's their job, together with everybody else, to actually tackle some of these issues. And, you know, it's all around us, it's our friends, it's our neighbours, you know, I, we are out in the doors, you know, speaking to people in the streets and so on, repeatedly. And it's when you go into a close, and it's cold, it's dark, there's no light, and you open the door, and actually inside the house is no different from outside in the close, you know, and they're a little bit cowed, and that's the reality of poverty for a lot of people. It's fuel poverty, it's just not eating properly during the week. Yeah. And you can just see it in their face, yeah. and they think, what have you got for me? And that question is really challenging to politicians. So this kind of poverty debate is absolutely essential because it just keeps it bubbling away. I mean, what are the... Um, the big challenges for us, I think, as politicians, is to give people the tools to be able to help themselves out of these situations. You know, the state can't make their living, they've got to do it for themselves. But that doesn't absolve us of any responsibility. It's not saying it's their personal responsibility to deal with their own personal problems. That's not the case. We've got to give them the tools to be able to, to sustain their lives in a in a quality way. Mm -hmm. And that's why I think, you know, things like nursery education, education as a whole, but nursery education in particular, tackling the issue before the age of three is, by many experts' views, the most important thing to do now. Because a lot of their views, their opinions, their early brain development, their kind of the attitude to life, their ability is developed at that stage. I think a big investment in two-year-olds to get them into nursery education, the poorest two-year-olds, 40% of them I would say, get them into nursery education and that is a tool to give the communities and families the capacity to bring those children up and if we can get them started at that early stage then the rest of the educational system can flow from it. One of the, one of the other big issues that um, came up again and again during Challenge Poverty Week was, was the issue of welfare reform and welfare changes. I mean, how, how important is it for you as a politician working in Scotland to get that right to get that issue of welfare change right? I mean it is hard, I mean some of the stuff and some of the people I meet you know are, are the victims effectively of the changes um, and I think everybody recognises we need to have change because the system just now actually suppresses people from getting on, you know if, if you actually can earn more on benefits than you do in work then there's something wrong mm -hmm. I mean I would meet quite a lot of people who would say Mr Rennie I'm not going to take that job it's not in my family's interest mm -hmm. because I don't know if it's going to last forever. And I, I can understand that it's in there, they're doing the right thing for their family. So a system needs to change so that you've got the universal credit with the tapering system, one payment point, so you don't have those gaps. That's ideal. Now it's difficult to implement, but that's essential. Mm -hmm. Things like bedroom tax are tough. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's, it's all about kind of that balance between affordability, the best use of the stock, and I've been working repeatedly on this issue, I've been speaking to the, my colleagues in the UK government, it's probably the most single important issue um, for me and the, the thing that's taken up most of my time. But it's important to get these things right. It's not saying because change is difficult you don't do it, because that would be neglect, um, it wouldn't serve everybody well, and you've got to create that system that incentivises people to get out of poverty, to make work pay, you've got to have that, it's a good thing. I mean, just finally then, Willie, um, how would you see um, yourself, other politicians being involved in the future? How can we strengthen the links between um, communities that are, that are struggling with poverty and people like yourself who are, who are in the parliament, who are making decisions about the kind of policies that we have in Scotland to tackle the issues? I think the most important thing is to say to people, if they see a politician in the street, don't walk away from them, walk up to them and say, right you, I want to talk to you. We are here to help. So that's the message. Pull us up, talk to us, tell us the sort of things out. 
Well, we will certainly encourage um, the, the groups that we are working with to, to do that with, with you and with other colleagues in the department as well. And just thank you for um, speaking to us today about Challenge Public Week. Thank you. Thank you.